Welcome everyone. I'm going to mix the acrylic pouring colors that Mike chose in a previous video. So today I'm using Palmer paints. I bought these in a set of, I believe it was 48. I've already mixed these four colors. These two I will mix. I use airbrush medium to thin the paints. I'm going to put some of the airbrush medium into just a yogurt cup that's been cleaned. I'm going to use these small cups. And I'll cover it. They don't have lids, so I'll cover it with plastic. But I did want to show you, I did mix some earlier. Now this is my salt rock lamp that changes colors. But that's optional. You don't need that for acrylic pouring. So I'll move that out of the way. So here's what I've done. I've mixed up the four other colors. These cups are really too big for the amount of paint. These are two fluid ounces. And I added the airbrush medium to thin it. These have lids, that's why I like them. But I have this little cup holder and it's I have two of those. I think I got it from McDonald's. So they're great just to hold your paint. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And I'm going to take the airbrush medium just gonna shake it a little bit it just it's always good I even shake the shampoo before I shampoo my hair um, I just think things are sitting I know they're emulsified but I like to shake things just to mix it up a little so I'm going to take a little bit of this it's pretty thin as you can see it's thinner than skim milk and it is the color white I take another one of these great cups and I'm going to actually reuse all my paint mixing sticks. And one thing I did forget would be the wet paper towel. But that's okay for right now. Now this table I have covered with freezer paper and I've taped it down. And this is a rotating Lazy Susan. It's a marble one and I have covered this with, I'll show you what I use. This is Vlad Press and Seal. It's in a roll. I'll turn it the other way. And you, you know, it's not really wax paper and it, I don't know how to explain it. I really like it. It does stick to bowls if you want to cover your leftovers. So I've covered this marble lazy susan all with the press and seal so that if it gets a lot of paint i can just remove it throw it out and cover it again so for these two colors that are remaining i'm going to try these cups today these um you know smaller cups i think they're three ounces so here we go I have I've chosen one other color Mike didn't choose that one but I, cho I, I like orange so I'm just going to take some of the paint and these are two fluid ounces I'm just going to place it in here and I think the cup will actually be the size that I want actually I think I might like a four ounce so I'm going to try to get out as much of the paint as I can It's, it's pretty thick. I mean, it doesn't really pour out. You do have to squeeze it. So this is what I do. All right, it's a little boring. I'm sorry. Oh, it's gloppy. I don't even know if gloppy is a word, but that's what I say. All right, it's really... And another thing would be, before you actually... You might want to just go like that and turn things upside down. And let all the paint come to the top. All right, so originally I thought I was going to be weighing this and then weighing the pouring medium. I call this the pouring medium, but it's actually the golden airbrush medium. The reason why I'm using this instead of Floetrol is because I watched another YouTuber who's an artist. And she did mention about the 30% rule with water and acrylic paint. Whenever you're putting water into your paint, you want to just 
keep it to 30% or less. I really actually don't want to use water. I'm not really sure why. I don't, I don't get a good feeling about it. So the pouring medium, I think, is going to last me quite a bit. You know, like a long time. So what I'm going to do, because there's paint still in here, I'm going to take some of the pouring medium. I'm just going to pour it. And I say that might be a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more than that. I'm going to put the lid back on, all right, and I'm going to shake it. And this is actually going to, you know, of course, dilute some of the paint in here. But I'll be able to get more of the paint out. So what I'm going to do is I will take the paint with the airbrush medium, and I'll just... See now how thick that is. It's actually, I like this orange. All right, so I'll take my stick and I'll start stirring. You can go back and forth. I mean, there's no particular way. Now, I did notice some other YouTubers when they stir, they go like this. I don't know, I go. I guess this is clockwise. This feels more comfortable to me. I am right-handed. All right, so let's mix this up. It's still too thick. And I think I would need like a slightly bigger cup than this to make me feel more comfortable. See how it's, it's coming out. It's not really pouring out. It does need more stirring. So again, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the pouring medium, maybe another less than a tablespoon. See, I did bake for a long time, so I'm used to measuring. I know what a tablespoon and a teaspoon looks like without even, I mean, I know the measurement without even measuring it. It's just something that happens when you bake and you just get more experience. So I'm going to shake this up. I'm wearing only one glove. I don't like two gloves. Makes me f just feel constricted. So only one of my hands will have paint and the other one will be okay. So, all right. That's how I like to do that. So, whoops, I can take the whole lid off again and pour this back in. I think this is gonna do it. So I'm gonna save these paints and I'm gonna add more pouring medium and I'm going to use them maybe to do like a, a watercolor maybe or like a maybe in the alcohol inks. This is going to need, so remember to get the sides. Let me move this, some of this out of the way. See it's still not mixed. You can see the sides have the airbrush medium. I'm probably only going to mix the this orange. It's a little bit better. See how it runs off, but it's I feel like it's still too thick. Now remember this is the very first time that I'm mixing paints. I've watched a lot of acrylic pouring, but I haven't actually done it. But I think it's so pretty, and I do love the orange. Now, it's still a little too thick, but I think it just needs mixing. And I'm actually going to add some water to this. Probably if it sits and it gets thick, I'm going to add maybe a teaspoon of water, and that's about it, if even that. But right now, I'm just going to add some more. That was probably like a half teaspoon of the airbrush medium. All right, so I'm just going to get the size. That's a little better. And since I'm not going to do the paint today, I, I mean, I won't be, you know, pouring it on canvas. I'm going to maybe film that another day, maybe tomorrow. Because this is turning out to be a longer video than I thought. So if you look how it comes off, See how it drips off the spoon. I think it's, it just needs to be mixed more. 
And again, this hand really, I should have probably put the glove on the left hand. And again, the cup is, I need four ounce cups. These are three ounce. They're a little bit too small for how I want to mix. And, but the other ones are too big, so I'll have to figure that out. So you want to go like this and take some of the paint off your stick and then incorporate that into the cup. And I'm thinking actually to mix this, the yogurt cup would have been really good. Might have been the right size. I have plenty of those. All right, so we're gonna leave that one go. And I wanna show you, it might still be a little bit thick. I try to bring it up. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I think it's a little too thick, maybe. But that's okay because, like I said, before I actually pour the paint on the canvas, I have to check the consistency. And then what I can do is adds just a teeny bit of water so we'll see I'm not sure all right great all right so good I'm gonna just scrape that off I'm gonna put that one here I'm gonna end the video I'm gonna go ahead and mix the very last color which is this lighter yellow orange let's see if it, it's called golden yellow okay and this one is Bonfire Orange, I'll just go through the colors real quick, Lime Green, Sky Blue, Almond, and the last one is Darker, and this is Burgundy. Okay, great. So here's all the paints, and the one I mixed, I'm going to cover that with plastic so the air doesn't get to it and dust or whatever. I'm going to mix the last one, and I will see you guys next time when I actually do my very first acrylic pour. I'm so excited. And these are colors that my husband, Mike, picked out, who he's bedridden, with, and he has ALS. And his mind is great. He's still so active and smart, and I love him to death. So we're going to see how these colors go next time. Thank you all so much. I really love you guys. I hope you'll join me in this really exciting adventure of acrylic pouring. Have a great day.